When I was in the county jail, they made shaving way harder than it had to be because three days a week between 6 and 8 p.m., you had to go to the desk. You had to show them your wristband, which was like your ID for the jail. You had to sign a logbook, and then the officer had to inspect the razor before he handed it to you. And when you turned it back in, he had to inspect the razor to make sure the blade was there. He had to check the logbook and check your ID to make sure you were actually the one turning in the razor. And God forbid a blade be missing. We had a guy take a blade out one time and try to turn in the razor without it, and they shut that whole side of the jail down. Like, they came through and unplugged all the TVs because that was really all we had. And the old side of the jail, you're just, like, stuck inside in a cell all the time anyway, so it really wasn't anything you could do. But then the one guy, and I don't know if he had the authority for this, was like, we're just not going to feed you all until we find this razor. It wasn't even our block. Like, our block didn't have anything to do with the razor missing. So when I got to prison, I was like, man, how do you all keep getting all these razor blades? Like, how do you keep getting by? Then I found out they just sell them on commissary, and it's so much easier, and it isn't a problem. Like, if you're indigent, if you haven't had money within 30 days, they'll just give you a single blade razor. Like, they recognize that shaving is, you know, a basic thing, especially since back then you had to shave by policy or you would have gotten a charge.